um, you know, we're quite proud and very excited to be announcing CCIP. In our initial white paper, we made it very clear that we want to support all leading smart contract networks for both off-chain and cross-chain interactions. And CCIP is similar to TCPIP and other protocols that seek to provide connectivity and seek to make disparate different systems work under one messaging and under one communications standard. We think we know our customers, but I don't think we do. I really want to understand uh, Chainlink, and I want to understand Link, the asset. It is being used by many DeFi mm -hmm. protocols, if not most DeFi protocols, and I think we're going to dig. What are your thoughts about Chainlink and hybrid smart contracts that utilize off-chain external data sources? Hmm. And I think uh, it's definitely a necessary for smart contracts so that do a lot of things to use off-chain data of some kind, right? Like, if you want to have a stable coin, you need a price oracle so you know what price you're targeting. If you want to have, like, assets that mirror other financial assets, you need an oracle. If you want to have a prediction market, you need an oracle. And so projects that provide oracles are definitely really important. So, I mean, I, I think I mean, the chain link is definitely, like, taking a yeah, good and uh, uh, like important part of the Oracle design space. And I'm, I'm definitely happy that there's like that project taking the task on. I mean, at the same time, I do think that, you know, their, their frog army on Twitter can get a bit intense at times, but. Do you have advice for young people, speaking of being excited about and hopeful about the future world, do you have uh, advice for young people today uh, for life? how to pick a career or how to live life in general. I think the thing that, that, that young people should do is, is not any one specific thing for any, any one specific young person. I think what they should do is what they won't be able to do in the later stages of their life. That the amount of obligations and the amount of time a person has seems to just diminish over time. So you start your job, you get a bunch of responsibilities, some, something with your partner, spouse, more responsibilities, kids, probably even more responsibilities. And soon enough, the time that you have to educate yourself, to travel, to you know experience the world however, create whatever creative endeavor you're interested in, um, slowly but surely disappears. You need some kind of entity, an oracle, to deliver that data on chain so it could be actually consumed by the smart contracts within that environment. So blockchain miners can't do that themselves because if there was, if there wasn't consensus about the data, the entire network would break. And that's obviously not ideal. So you want to have a separate Oracle network that relays this data onto the blockchain. And it's critical that you don't just use like a centralized Oracle, some server, someone's basement somewhere, because that entirely defeats the purpose of using a decentralized smart contract on a decentralized blockchain if a single entity can just corrupt the execution of that contract. So what you really need is some type of framework for creating these decentralized oracle networks. I am lost. millennials are not going to invest in the same products, are not going to invest their money in the same way that their parents or grandparents did. So if banks don't change that, and if the pension funds and asset managers don't change that, uh, this is going to be a hard time for them.